Hi, my name's Sean Apo. I'm a Kalkadoon and Gurengarang man from Queensland, and I'm the Life Programs Manager at the National Centre of Indigenous Excellence. Just want to talk a little bit today about our uh, tobacco strategy that we launched last week. It's called Talking About Tobacco Use, and there's a number of different segments to it. The first segment is TV commercials that we shot earlier this year, and they started airing on NITV last week. Uh, we tried to make those TV commercials as community relevant as possible. So we use local people in the ads. We shot those ads in, in local areas and we tried to use community scenarios as well. We would love to hear your feedback about how you see yourself in some of those situations and also whether you think those ads speak to you. We're also getting a TV documentary done around the use of tobacco in rations. So a lot of previous policies around Indigenous people working, they weren't paid full wages, they were paid part wage and then they were also paid rations. Uh, tobacco was part of those ration packs and we want to um, unpack what it is around the use of tobacco as rations, how it was used in local communities and what the hangover is today. And then also Aboriginal people or Indigenous people being a very uh, communal, very sharing uh, culture. We shared a lot of our tobacco around. So we want to try and get a better understanding of what some of the impacts today are around that tobacco rations. So we've also developed a peer-to-peer -peer brief intervention project and we've developed a number of resources for that project. One major resource we developed for that project is our own app. And the reason why we developed that app is so that uh, the people who we, who we train to perform those brief interventions with other community members, they can use the app to step through the different processes that are involved. And it's a really brief process. It's like a five or ten minute conversation depending on, on uh, how much dialogue you can start with a, with a person who, who smokes. But basically there are some quick questions in there about gender, age, then we talk about how the person sees themselves as a current smoker. Uh, we look at, uh, there's a few questions there that work out the person's nicotine need and then there's some, some sign up questions if the person wants to go through to sign up. So we, we understood that once we did the, the training with community members around the, the, the project information that there would still need to be something that supported them so that they could do the, the uh, brief intervention. So we developed our, our tattoo app um, and what we will put in place is if community members sign up, you know, numbers of other community members or will perform the brief intervention with numbers of other community members, we will have different rewards in, in, in place. So we, we want to try and set up some community-based competition where individuals can sign up 50, 100 different community members and talk to them about their tobacco use. And in that way, we really want to open up the sort of channels of, of people who are being spoken to about how they use their, their tobacco and potentially get them thinking about quitting. As well as that, we'll be doing the normal um, anti-tobacco health promotion through our other programs like the community cycling program and old ways, new ways where we take people out and try and engage in some traditional and cultural uh, activities and uh, try and get people a bit breathless so that we can talk about lung function and how smoking impacts on normal lung function. So. If you're interested in any more information or you want to engage with us in, in any way, uh, find us on our Facebook page, the Lifestyle Innovations for Everyone, uh, on Twitter at Lifestyle Programs, and just get in touch and we'll speak to you then.